Uh, all right, Christina, here's your favorite oh, time. It's about time. <laughs> all right, Danny, uh, this is Christina's moment of the hour. Mm -hmm. It's um, her famous uh, curation of TikTok yep. videos. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. That's not cool at all. What do you mean? I don't like this. It looks cool. It's nope. art and it's gay pride month. So I got my face tattooed more yesterday. Wow. Oh, that's one of them Kim sex motherfuckers right there. Don't you there, feel man. like the tattoo artist should be like the sanctioned <laughs> for agreeing no, to do this? I disagree, Tom. First no. of all, I think this is actually in terms of face art, pretty interesting, pretty good, better than most. Mm-hmm. That ain't what no tattoo think? shop shit. They, they just be hanging around getting high. They be like, yeah. fuck it, man. Just do this shit. Yeah. Do it to it. my face. You know what I'm saying? Draw lines on my face, man. That motherfucker get double fisted. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting fucked. Yeah. That's some yeah. fisting motherfuckers right there. There's a lot of drugs that went into this face tattoo, for sure. <laughs> I like it. You know, you guys need to open your hearts and your arms. Uh -huh. I'm terrified of motherfuckers like that, man. Hell I yeah. I see the motherfuckers in Walmart. I go the other way. <laughs> That's a scary dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. racist towards these type of motherfuckers yeah. right there. <laughs> I hate to say it. Head of polyamory and wondering about your bed situation. All right. <laughs> what do we do? Specific. I currently have two partners whom I spend the night with on a regular basis. We currently have regular regularly scheduled nights of the week where my wife will go to her boyfriend's house and my partner will come here. That's what happens most of the time, but plans change. Sometimes all four of us are here. In that case, usually my wife and her boyfriend share a bed and my partner and I share a bed. As soon as we know we're all going to be here, we talk about who's in what bed. I'm so Sometimes confused. my wife's boyfriend is not staying here, but my wife and my partner are. What? In that case, my two partners are comfortable sharing a bed with each other, even though they're not partners <laughs> themselves. And I get to live that sweet, sweet middle spoon life. But all of us are free to date outside of those relationships as well, so we generally just hash it out as new situations. Right, I'm, I'm good. It's so yeah. good. You always wonder what them Coco <laughs> motherfuckers look like. There we go, right there. He's the he's the fucking poster child for Coco. Oh, and I didn't. Oh, the shirt is normalized polyamory. It's very cool. Well, like also, did you know there's a trend now where straight people are calling their spouses partner? So yeah. like a yeah. partner, like. I'm your partner now. Yeah, like, I've heard that before. It's so yeah. fucking stupid. Yeah, that's for days. That it's kind of new. It was almost like, I met a girl once. She's like, you know my partner? This was a while ago, though. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you know me and my partner, we hang out. I was like, oh, so that means I can still fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but now you call them partner. So I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. Is his partner a guy or a girl? Is it yeah, I, I, think he got, I think he got one of each. He looked like he double dips. <laughs> He, he double does. dips. He does. He does I mean, have double dip vibes. Talk about this algebra. I mean, yeah. the amount of energy on this. What are you is doing, like... man? What are you doing? <laughs> Send his wife out to get the BBC. Come back <laughs> yeah. home, ask yeah. how it was. How was it? Yeah. Is that great? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't have Oh, that's OCD. my girl right there. You have OBCD. Bruh. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Thank this you. a big bitch, though. That <laughs> She's a big bitch, man. If you got to see a full body picture, man. Amberlynn Reed, man, I, I know all about her. I've been down this rabbit hole, man. Oh, you know who this is for yeah, real? Yeah, yeah. She, she's on YouTube all the time. She got to her own YouTube channel. Because she, she started out as, how she became so popular was that she started this YouTube channel. And she was like, you know, you're going to be able to see my weight loss journey and getting fitness, but... <laughs> As time progressed, she just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Really? Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Even that neck chain she has yeah. on, that little choker chain, that motherfucker used to be loose at one point in time. <laughs> I don't think she can get it off now. Oh, my God. So we've just been watching her. Yeah, look at her, man. She can't even walk down the stairs now. So she's huge now. Yeah, she's huge. She started doing mukbang challenges and shit. And oh. like, damn, yeah. bitch, I thought you was trying to lose weight. Oh, did she actually go see that guy? She saw No, that no, guy? I don't think so. I think that's oh. just a meme. Oh, okay. But yeah, she's a so big So she bitch. was start. She her thing was just she was like kind of overweight. Hey, I'm going to lose weight. Yeah. And then she's got bigger and bigger. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's just that that's that YouTube shit. And then the more, you know, start making mm. money off YouTube and she's like, shit, fuck, I'm like, going Applebee's. She got. Shit. She got walked into one of these like you do like Please your, please play it again. Yeah. I have to I, so I found this on TikTok and I watched this clip about fifty fucking times yeah. and every time it made me L's L O L's yeah, lols. You don't have O C D. You have O B C D. <laughs> okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you don't have O C D. No, you she's a big bitch, man. <laughs> Bruh. And then someone Bruh. puts in the yeah, bra. Yeah. Oh man. This and it's almost like since I it's mm -hmm. almost like one of those sad things, like, you know, like with King Cobra and his drink and all that. Like, yeah. people watch these motherfuckers because they like waiting on them to die. Like, yeah, damn, that's bitch, fucked up. Send her some more money because they know she can't help herself. She gonna go get some motherfucking food. <laughs> Who's this fucking guy? How to steal someone's energy from a distance. Not for beginners. <laughs> 
it's been a minute since I've taught people a direct ritual action that they can do. Okay. And of course, I'm going to do something that's dangerous. Of course, before you attempt doing this, make mm -hmm. sure that your wards are solid, your relationship with the spirits is good, and that you are protected. And ensure okay. that you do not have doubts in your abilities. This is going to be an operation to spiritually wound and drain the energy from someone from a long distance. Oh, shit. What you're going to need is yourself <laughs> and a piece of obsidian. Mm. You're going to meditate with this obsidian in your left hand. Hand. Oh, shit. Okay. You are going to visualize a black writing. mirror in front of yourself. Okay. Whisper the name of the target Daddy seven Brown. times Brown. and then Daddy see Brown. them appear Daddy in this Brown. mirror. Brown. Reach your hand through the mirror, grasp them, and pull them through to you. Now, whether you use visualization with tendrils being a tendrils. tentacles that stab into someone and then drain the energy from them, <laughs> or you could be like me and visualize yourself taking a bite directly into them somewhere where there is important mm. arteries. You can keep up this visualization <laughs> for a very long time. Yeah, like this video. If Jesus. The target yeah. Come on, sleeping. man. It will make them very vulnerable to this sort of attack. Okay, okay. Okay, what do you think, Danny? Do you believe that? No, he's just a fucking weirdo. That's yeah. all it is, man. He is, YouTube, he's weird. YouTube, do this to motherfuckers. When you watch too many videos late night at four in the morning, you start believing shit like this. This is weird guy shit. Yeah, yeah that's all dude. it is. He's just yeah. a weird guy. This guy's man. a creeper. Guys, I really wish you believe in magic. You know, I believe in some. I, I believe in like you can, you can like you know, because you know, like down mm -hmm. south, them voodoo motherfuckers and shit like that. Voodoo, like you know, New Orleans and shit. Because them motherfuckers, them Haitian niggas, they be killing motherfuckers. They want to go to jail and shit. You be like, damn, what you do? I went to see the voodoo bitch. Mm -hmm. She got me. <laughs> yeah. So I do be believing that kind of shit. But, but, but this but is a creeper. White guy magic, I don't believe in. I think voodoo magic more. Man. It's just some fucking guy with a pentagram necklace. I just yeah. know this motherfucker Spot must. Other swingers in public. If you're at a restaurant, if you're at a bar, if you're pineapple out shit. downtown, how yeah. do you spot and know that other people are swingers? And how do you go up I and put his say hands hello fucking to them down. or Too approach much hands. them? You don't. You don't. Majority of swingers out there are very discreet. This is a lifestyle that we add a little bit of added spiciness into our relationships. This is not our entire life. So when people are out in public, most people don't want to be known that they're swingers. Most people don't want to be approached that they're swingers. So when it comes down to meeting others and approaching others, the really appropriate place to do it is at lifestyle clubs or at meet and lifestyle. greets. But when you see people who are out in public and you think that they might be a swinger, just to approach them can be very offending because, again, most people in this lifestyle, they don't broadcast it to everybody. It's not like CrossFit like, where everybody knows account, that you're a swinger. Let everybody yeah. know. No, most people enjoy their normal life and every now and then they have a little bit of added fun so remember that next time that you're out in public and you think but, someone may be a swinger or not but on the other hand they always wear the pineapple around yeah, to let everybody myth, know because because now they got me thinking about that shit they be like you know swingers they be in the grocery stores with the pineapple upside down the cart now every time i'm in an heb i'm looking at motherfuckers carts and shit yeah. like a fucking weirdo See? But yeah, that shit is a myth, man. I don't believe that. All the swingers is weirdo motherfuckers anyway, man. It's you never who you want to yeah. yeah. You ever go to a swingers with. type of situation, the motherfuckers in there, ugly than a motherfucker, yeah. man. I know. I went to Hedonism too mm -hmm. uh, on um, Road Rules, like a challenge. They yeah, took yeah. us there one the night. Disgusting motherfuckers. The grossest human beings. <laughs> Nobody's attractive. Everybody's old and fat and ugly. And mm -hmm. you're like, what do you do? This is so gross. Are they like welcoming them? Are they like, hey guys? Like, are they trying no. to. Like, no. No? No. You know what they do? They mind their own business. Business and they're just doing their thing and they they're kind of just indifferent to people passers-by they uh, don't try to like yeah. hey come here they don't they're like if you want to go not because they know cool, you ain't ugly nice. when they see a motherfucker ain't ugly they're like oh he here to make fun of us yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. anybody <laughs> good looking they're like yeah, they hate asshole. you they're like yeah, yeah. <laughs> five things i wish i would have known before dating a trans woman <laughs> number one this girl is every bit of a woman and then some Think of her as that Happy Meal with the extra special toy that you haven't played with yet. Number two, you say, hey, Adam, I've already got that toy to play with myself. Why would we need a second toy to play with at the same time? Did we need a second Ace Ventura Pet Detective movie? Did the Chappelle show need a second season? Did we really need to clone Kanye West to make a second? Wait, that's a bad example. But moral of the story is good things come in twos. Number three. You ever have one of those nights where you want to have a little bit of fun, but your schlong and chimichanga doesn't want to show up to the big game? Well, who better to understand than a woman who has dealt with those same complications? Okay. So now when she says, Are you convinced? Oh, it's okay, babe. It looks cute. You know she's coming from a place of empathy and not pity. 
Number four. Oof. No, this does not make you gay. Listen, this is a little bit different than those sleepovers you and your bros used to have when you were younger. That was a little gay. Being with a woman of any kind means every part of her is feminine. And while I can't fully explain it, that feminine energy is the hottest thing in the world. You'll figure everything else out later. Ugh. Number five. This is a woman, and a very powerful woman, that's been through a lot to work towards the body and the image that she identifies as. So if you want a conversation with sustenance, they got fucking jumps not just a conversation shit. about yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this, this dude's a lot, by the way. He's a fucking exhausting motherfucker. So Adderall, Adderall, man. Right? That's yeah. all I can take. Yeah. Is Adderall, a man. In the world. Yeah, he just I done mean, too much Adderall. I felt, I felt an energy shift from yeah. the booth from any. I actually feel like <laughs> something was happening to him in there. You all right? <laughs> There's just so much to fucking unpack, man. Yeah. Dude, what is this guy? It's a commercial. So That's confused. what it is. That You're was a commercial. You're yeah. trying to sell you on it. Yeah. Like, we don't got to sell you, man. I get it, man. Don't trip, man. God damn, man. Five points. He's, He's having, having too much fun. It was a commercial for himself, yeah. though. He was yeah. Yeah. It was like so that off. he can look at this video and be like, see, I'm not gay. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like telling you, He's like, you're not gay. <laughs> You're trying to tell yourself that. Yeah, he really you. is. He really is. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's ex he's exhausting as a human. I just, in general, I think. It's Adderall, man. I used to take a lot of Adderall, <laughs> so I know how it is, man. Yeah. Adderall is fucking meth, man. That's all it is. All right, let's let's uh, let's do one more. We got to get out of here. Here we go. For those of you that are <laughs> stupid enough to think that you have support in your significant other, what the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that shit if it's not addictive. Because they may say they're supportive. Most of you, your significant others have said... If they said anything, I'm supportive. That's a load of shit. <laughs> but you want to believe that they're supportive. You want to believe that you no, don't have to cut yourself off from 99% of the people you know. But I'm here to tell you, to get on that fucking wall, you got to cut out 99.9% .9 of everybody you know. All right. Dan yeah. It's lonely at the top, guys. Yeah. I'll strive to be like that when I get that age. He's great. <laughs> just, just, just to have that energy and to be able to, you know, kick it like <laughs> that, man. I like old dudes like this, man. Oh, oh, he's man. the greatest. <laughs> yeah, There's nobody better. I swear. There's nobody <sighs> better than Dan Pena. That was a fun trip, you That guys. was fun, We man. went everywhere today. Yep. We found out, well, we found out a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That uh, just uh, I don't want to get into it all over again, but you see, this is also I just found this for Danny too. I wanted to see. Oh. You realize the rest of the world laughs at us. You realize the Russians think we're all faggots. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Do you realize most of the Eastern Bloc countries think we're faggots? Yeah, man, they do, Doug. Cause we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're an embarrassment to humanity. <laughs> There you go. Dan He's Pena. not lying, though, man. When you go to other countries, you oh, can just see how they yeah. treat you, man. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, man. Yeah. They soft. Like, they think we're soft. Yeah, yeah they yeah. just think, yeah. And we just like fucking McDonald's and shit. We're, we're, we, like, we are coddled in this country a lot. Beyond. Yeah. Oh, you just watched a YMH highlight. Did you love it? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Click there. Click everywhere. Put a clicker in your b-hole. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You don't have to think about it. Just do it, man. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Pull your jeans up. Subscribe.